Hi everybody, so glad that you could be with your campus group tonight. I'm here in my office standing in front of this print of a sailboat clipping through the waters, uh, which reminds me of a time when I was a young pastor serving in a church where one of the elders on that board uh, invited me to come and learn how to sail a boat similar to this. Oh, it was exciting to learn each part that's required to sail a boat. But most importantly, I loved Tuesday nights because it was race night. And so the whole crew would come together and we would do our very best to focus on our individual task so that we could get that boat up and clipping through the water as quickly as possible, going around each of the markers and hopefully crossing the finish line first. It was thrilling. It required focus and it was exciting. But I found something more exciting in life than even sailing. And I, I discovered it early in my walk with Jesus. And that is to share the gospel, to sh let everybody know uh, possible about who Jesus is and to, to lead individuals to the foot of the cross where they could confess their sin and trust Christ as Savior. And I learned about this, uh, this purpose for my life and for all of us as followers of Jesus early uh, in my walk with Jesus. It came after I heard a preacher preach through Matthew 28, 18 to 20, which says, and of course Jesus is speaking here, he says, I've been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. That's an exciting command of Christ, but also a very frightening command of Christ. Because when I was young, especially, I, I didn't know much about Jesus except that he saved me. And I was afraid, how can I tell anybody about Jesus? I don't know much. Um, and even as I grew to know more and more about God's word and about the love of Christ, the love of the Father, uh, it was frightening and, and still is a little bit frightening to, to talk to people about my faith, my walk with Jesus. But I learned uh, over the years, and especially when I heard this quote from Hudson Taylor, uh, the great missionary to China, where, where he said, God uses men who are weak and feeble enough to lean on him. I learned that I knew I was feeble. I am weak. And I lean on Christ every day. I lean on the power of the Holy Spirit who dwells within me to step out in faith, to not be frightened, and to share my faith. I also learned as um, William Carey uh, spoke once, he said, expect great things from God, attempt great things for God. So as I go into sharing my faith, I do expect that God is going to do a great work, not me. But nevertheless, because I expect that, I'll, I'll step out and attempt some great things for God. Lastly, I, I, I came to realize that lost people matter to God. Isn't that true? God loves the whole world. They're lost. We live around people who are wandering and lost and don't know that uh, they need to come into a, a right relationship with the Heavenly Father. So lost people matter to God, and so they must matter to us. A lot of us talk about Christian things. Some of us, a lot, maybe even a lot of us, talk about the second coming of Christ, and we can't wait till Jesus returns. But Oswald J. Smith says it so well. Uh, yes, we talk of the coming, second coming of Christ, but half the world has never heard of the first. So we need to tell people about Jesus. That's our personal uh, mission plan. Well, as I say these things to you tonight, I, I go back to the last part of the Matthew 28 quote, where in verse 20 it says, and be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. As I encourage you tonight in your campus groups to consider how God wants to use you as an individual to fulfill Matthew 28, I want to remind you that as you step out in faith and expect great things uh, 
from God and for God, that he says this. Jesus says this. Be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. We're not alone. We have the Spirit of God dwelling within us. We have Christ himself um, encouraging us along through his words. And in the end, um, I'm looking forward to all of us hearing from God. Well done, good and faithful servants, as you took part in my great plan, the Heavenly Father will say. Well, enjoy your time tonight. Think of the sailboat. Think of what's exciting in your life. And maybe tonight you'll commit to being intentional about your being a part of the Great Commission to go and tell and teach and uh, to see people's lives transformed for God's glory. God bless you. Talk to you soon.